YouTube, it's Satch. Welcome to Drive 81. So in this video today, I'm going to be talking about buying a Porsche Boxster Cayman or 911 with high miles and why you shouldn't let it put you off. Uh, the models we're talking about is the 996, the 997 and the 987 and the 986 in fact as well. Now as with every car, you need to do your homework before you're buying and I suspect Oh, sheep in the road and I suspect that is exactly why you're watching this video so if you want to see more Porsche orientated videos help guides DIY guides then please click like on this channel and subscribe to the channel I'm doing a free offer today where if you like and subscribe I'll give you 10 years good luck also make sure you click the bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you are notified whenever I release one of my new videos so with that in mind let's get on with the video The 987, the 996, and the 997 can potentially suffer from an IMS bearing failure. Now, in this video, I'm not going to bore you with what an IMS bearing is and how it can fail because there are lots of videos on that subject on YouTube and just do a Google search basically. But one thing you might not know about the IMS bearing failure is that they won't happen in high mileage cars. If you get to a, a car which has, you say, got 100, 110, 120, 130,000 miles on it, the chances of an IMS bearing on going on that car are pretty much impossible. If, these, if the IMS bearing is going to go on these cars, it would have happened way before that mileage. So that's one thing you do not need to worry about when buying a higher mileage car. It's probably always ideal if you've bought a car or you're buying a car which has already had the IMS upgrade. An IMS upgrade for your own peace of mind if you really wanted to get it done, you could pay about a thousand pounds for the parts and the labor to get it all done. If you were unlucky enough to have the IMS bearing go on your car and turn your engine to butter, then you're probably looking at a well, about a £10,000 rebuild cost. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Oh, this looks like a Porsche here passing me by, 987. Little old man driving it. Now, another thing you need to be aware of in these cars is a thing called ball scoring. Now, yes, again, I'm not going to go into the fine details of ball scoring only to tell you that there are lots of online guides on YouTube and in Google that will cover the subject so it's maybe worth looking at but this is something again that is completely blown way out of proportion. Now the thing with ball scoring is that it can happen at any time so it can happen in an early car say if you've got 30 or 40,000 miles or it can happen in a car which has got 120 or 130,000 miles so in fact the mileage of the car for this issue doesn't even matter it doesn't even come into consideration it can happen whether it's a newer car or an older car there is of course a check you can do before you buy any car um, or indeed if you own the car uh, just phone your local uh, Porsche independent garage or official Porsche dealer and they will be able to inspect the uh, the cylinders it's called a ball scope check and they will be able to check the cylinders for any scoring now in a case like this it all depends on how severe the scoring is because I think there's a vast majority of cars which will have a very small very very small amount of minute scoring in which case it's not going to affect the performance at all but obviously if the, the scoring is a lot more severe then you're not going to be getting any good performance out of that car and it's going to sound bad as well so it's always worth doing a quick check unless you really really know what you're doing or you really know what to listen out for now higher mileage cars they have obviously been driven a lot more so the likelihood of the brakes seizing up is a lot less also the batteries are 
more likely to hold their charge as opposed to a lesser driven car which is having a problem holding its uh, battery charge. And quite often, a car that has been driven more, you're most likely to find that it's been not better looked after, but it has been very well looked after because if it's still running and it's still going at that age, then the chances are parts have been replaced somewhere along the line, something you would ultimately have to go and do if you had a lower end, or sorry, a lower mileage car. And the paintwork on these cars is generally pretty perfect. So if you are looking at a car which has poor paintwork, uh, looks like it's had spray work done in the past or the panels are fitted uh, and it doesn't look all level and there isn't the same amount of gap between all of the panels, then as always with any car, you'll need to do a little bit of investigative work and find out why it's not lining up or why the paint is a little bit off. Now one thing I would always recommend if you are buying a high mileage uh, Porsche is get yourself one of these. It's called the iCars of POR version 1.0. It's a Porsche diagnostic scan tool, and it's gonna allow you to scan all of the systems. Maybe, maybe perfect, in fact, if you are taking this, this with you to, to look at a car, because you can actually scan for any faults in the car, and it'll cover all of the systems like airbags, ABS, transmission. It'll do service resets, and it'll show you live data in the car as well. I'll put the link to this kit directly below this video in the description. So ultimately, you're gonna be paying less for a car with high miles. You're most likely gonna be paying less for any parts because they've probably already been replaced, the ones that need to be replaced. You know, these cars, they're owned by enthusiasts, they're driven by enthusiasts. So if anything needs to be changed on these cars, then it probably has already been changed. It's a lot different to going out and buying a Ford Fiesta or a Ford Focus where, you know, they may not be that bothered about the car, so they may let parts on the car just fail and not even replace them. These cars are owned by people who want to take pride in their cars and want to look after them at all costs. And besides what I've mentioned, you'll need to do with the checks on these cars before you buy them, but these checks are no different to the checks you'd have to do on when you were going out and buying anything different, like a 3 Series BMW or a Mercedes E-Class, like the car I'm in now. You know, making sure it's got full service history, making sure all of the panels line up, making, looking for uh, bodywork imperfections or signs that panels have been painted and refitted. Obviously doing an HPI check, or I think they call it a CFAX in the States. But the bottom line of this video is just don't let a high mileage Porsche put you off. Me personally, I've got a, a Boxster 986, which has 121,000 miles on it still got the original IMS bearing in. I've got a Cayman, which is currently on 125,000 miles, still on the original IMS bearing. Neither of these cars show any signs of bore scoring, so it just goes to show. Unfortunately, there's a lot of hype about these problems on the internet, and there's a lot of internet forums and YouTube videos which kind of amplify and sort of, um, you know, they make the problem sound bigger than it actually is when it's actually not. I believe the IMS bearing fault or failure only covers about six or seven, five to six or seven percent of the cars. So that's not a lot, to be honest with you. Yes, it's catastrophic if it goes. And I feel sorry for anybody who is maybe watching this video and it maybe has gone on their car. I'm very sorry to hear that. But I think you've been very unlucky if it has gone. So like I say, I spend my time doing Porsche videos. So if it sounds like something you'd be interested in, I've got a lot of other videos on the channel. Please go ahead and check them out. Please like the video. Please also subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure that you'll be notified whenever I publish one of my videos. I'll also throw in 10 years good luck if you hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching. Lots more Porsche videos coming soon. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.